Washington, with the military under broad pressure to step up its coronavirus response, Defense Secretary Mark Esper on Sunday defended the firing of an aircraft carrier commander who sought help for sailors during an outbreak as a matter of holding leaders accountable. He also said the matter was under review. In two television interviews, Esper said acting Navy Secretary Thomas Modley made a very tough decision last Thursday to oust Captain Brett Crozier of command of the USS Theodore Roosevelt, which was docked in Guam, and that he supported the decision. It was based on his view that he had lost faith and confidence in the captain, based on his actions. It was supported by Navy leadership, Esper said. Still, the Pentagon chief declined to explicitly say he agreed with Modley's assessment, noting that there is an investigation ongoing. This could ultimately come to my desk, he said. I think Secretary Modley laid out very reasonably, very deliberately the reasons why. And I think, when all those facts come to bear, we will have a chance to understand why Secretary Modley did what he did. Crozier circulated a memo to Navy leaders last week that was obtained by news media in which he urged speedy action to evacuate the ship of nearly 5,000 sailors as the coronavirus began to escalate. Modley said Crozier demonstrated extremely poor judgment in the middle of a crisis, although Navy officials later announced they would offload 2,700 sailors in the coming days. Videos went viral on social media over the weekend, showing hundreds of sailors gathered on the ship chanting and applauding Crozier on Thursday as he walked off the vessel, turned, saluted, waved and got into a waiting car. His firing comes amid broader pressure on the military as it seeks to step up its response to the coronavirus outbreak, including sending two Navy hospital ships in New York and Los Angeles. On Sunday, Esper said the Pentagon was sending over 1,100 additional doctors, nurses and other medical staff to New York as part of a COVID-19 operation that would have the military in charge of the largest hospital in the United States, with 2,500 beds at the Jacob Javits Convention Center. But as the coronavirus pandemic worsens and the country turns increasingly to the military for help, America's armed services have been struggling to get new recruits as families and communities hunker down. The services, as a result, could fall thousands short of their enlistment goals if the widespread lockdowns drag on, forcing them to pressure current troops to stay on in order to maintain broader military readiness. Asked over the weekend about whether Crozier's firing could hurt morale in the military, President Donald Trump said he was not involved with the decision but agreed with it 100%, calling his letter, not appropriate. I thought it was terrible what he did to write a letter, he told reporters Saturday. I mean, this isn't a class on literature. This is a captain of a massive ship that's nuclear-powered. And he shouldn't be talking that way in a letter. He could call and ask and suggest. Esper insisted it was not unusual for the Navy to relieve commanders so quickly without first completing a full review into their actions. But he also declined to say what will happen to Crozier, citing the current ongoing investigation. Esper said he backed Modley's decision after also receiving advice from the Chief of Naval Operations and General Mark Milley, the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. It's just another example of how we hold leaders accountable for their actions, Esper said. He said over half of the ship had now been tested. About 155 sailors had tested positive for COVID-19, exhibiting mild and moderate symptoms with no hospitalizations whatsoever. For most people, the new coronavirus causes mild or moderate symptoms, such as fever and cough that clear up in two to three weeks. For some, especially older adults and people with existing health problems, it can cause more severe illness, including pneumonia, and death. Esper said not all the sailors will be evacuated because the ship has sensitive equipment and weapons on board, and a new commander will be arriving there soon to assess the crew's safety. The ouster has drawn fire from different quarters, including former military commanders. On Sunday, Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden called the Trump administration's handling of the case as close to criminal. The idea that this man stood up and said what had to be said, got it out that his troops, his Navy personnel were in danger, he said. The guy should have a commendation rather than be fired. Tweed Roosevelt, the great-grandson of former President Theodore Roosevelt, called Crozier a hero. In this era when so many seem to place expediency over honor, it is heartening that so many others are showing great courage, some even risking their lives. 
Theodore Roosevelt, in his time, chose the honorable course, Tweed Roosevelt wrote in an op-ed Friday in the New York Times. Captain Crozier has done the same, 